Welcome back, everybody. More campaign auto car fun times, and clearly Dash is excited as we are because we are a lowercase n new Emperor Capital E Kappa. The princes and bishops of Germany have finally elected a new emperor. The robot overlords? In 1273, Rudolf of Habsburg. Rudy? Grand Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire in the magnificent cathedral of Aachen. It was a surprising choice that nobody had expected. Rudolf was known to be poor and insignificant, albeit cunning. But Rudolf promised that he would restore peace and order in the empire. Ottokar was not so pleased. When he heard of this surprise, he fell into the rage when he had to hear that of all possible men. This fool Rudolf had been chosen. Ottokar had been warned. His divorce, his far too great power, and his unmatched pride had been a thorn in the side of smaller princes in the empire. That is why they preferred Rudolf as emperor instead of Ottokar. Rudolf asked Ottokar to cede all conquests to the emperor and swear allegiance to him. But Ottokar was not ready to give up so quickly. If necessary, he had to get the imperial crown by force. He gathered his troops in the fortified city of Vienna, where he was waiting for Rudolf's attack. God damn it, Rudolf! The red nosed traitor! Why is this guy injured? What? The soldiers knew that they had to defend the city at all costs, but the danger lurked within the walls as well. Because of the siege, it became more and more likely that a fire would break out in the Vienna and ruins. What? I'm we're having to repair stuff? Okay. Defend your cathedral for 45 minutes, so it's a defense scenario. Uh or uh, this last time we had to do this, uh, it didn't go so well with uh, the last Roman. So let's have it go better. Your city is under siege, and the houses are built closely together. Therefore, fires break out in the city from time to time. Oh God! Um, we can build a cistern next to the fire. Okay. If a fire breaks out, act quickly so that the fire does not spread to other parts of the city and destroy your buildings. Use the construction menu to build a cistern. You can try to attack your enemy's camps, but then Rudolph will attack you even more resolutely. Maybe it is wise to concentrate on defending the city. The area north of the river is rich in resources, but can only be reached after reinforcements from Bohemia have arrived in Poplum 200. Ottokar has gathered his followers in Vienna. The, siege, uh, the city is besieged by his rival Rudolf of Habsburg. Vienna's narrow streets are prone to large-scale fires. Uh, Austria and Styria have defected to Rudolf. Austria controls a small fleet on the Danube River. The Bohemian Zavis of Falkenstein uh, leads a force relief army, which will uh, later join Autocar. And uh, Vienna's houses, traders hid supplies. <gasps> oh no. Okay. So we are repairing stuff. And I do have... Uh, town center. Can I build more? Yes, I can. Ooh, lots of resources over here. And we have a pop limit of 200, right? So we should just get these TCs rolling. Again, starting with a ton of stuff. The soldiers needed all available supplies to defend the city. Still, a few unloyal citizens have kept supplies hidden in their homes from the defenders. Ottoka decided to search all suspicious houses in the city for possible supplies. Uh oh. Oh, wait, we have relic. Yeah. 
Oh, we cannot reach that area unless we build a transport. So there are three Vienna players. Oh, Hidden Supplies is yellow. Are we like neutral to them or something? Yeah. Guess we need to split up our forces here. Yeah, we already have careening. Let's just make sure water never becomes a problem. So I guess we just have to click on all the random buildings until we see one that's yellow. Like this one. Let's use these Tarkins. They are rather well suited to the task. Otoko had underestimated Rudolf. The new emperor had assembled an impressive number of allies in no time and was now beginning his attack. Uh oh, also we have a very high chance for fire. Which is, uh, as they say, not good. Oh, and there's also the fire bug in DE right now. Not like an arsonist, but a literal fire bug. Okay, here is Rudy. Oh, I heard the Gaia sound. Hey, Rudolph's attacking us from this side as well. Uh, are these guard towers? Fortunately, Slavs don't have the best defenses. Like, they're not awful, but they're not great. It's at least trying to, like, garrison maybe these genbos in a guard tower. Oh, yeah. We are definitely encouraged to not attack them. Oh, my God. Whoa. Drusina, crenellations, and tower shields. Well, crenellations would be really sick. Tons and tons of resources over here. Okay. Oh no! No! I'm sorry! It's not my fault you built this place out of wood! Um. Let's just get some knights or something, take down these mango tangos. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. If I was, if I'm trying, man, I'm repairing away! I have a university dod. Okay, looks like we put the fire out. Thankfully it's just a mangonel, so tower should be pretty effective. God damn it. I mean, our population's pretty good. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I am literally not reading the text in front of me. Um, where is... Well, one, what is a cistern? 200, 200, 200. That is expansive. Where's there a fire? I see no fire. 
unless they mean the cathedral itself, but I think we're putting that one out. Rather, I hope we're putting that one out. Thankfully, the streets of Vienna are, uh, as it turns out, quite arable. <laughs> a terrible fire had broken out in the city. Where? Oh, God! Ah! The roof is on fire! Oh, I can make Viennese militia. I mean, they're, they're Genoese crossbowmen. I don't know if, uh, like, I'll get elite if I get my bannerman upgrade. Oh boy, that's not going so well. Ah! Hey, that's a trader building! I mean, I know, I know our score is significantly higher than our enemies. Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot I should build these cisterns. Hope they build quickly. Uh, I mean, they're not super slow, but not really quick either. Oh god, now the cathedral's still on fire again. Okay, now they're sending some navy at us. This is why we got fast fire ship already. Oh no, city's uh, the city is just a burning. Oh no, everything's on fire. The defenders were relieved when they heard news that reinforcements from Bohemia were underway. The mighty Zavis of Falkenstein would to lead many Bohemian knights to Vienna. Okay. A terrible fire has broken Stop out with the fires! Um. Yeah, building the aqueduct. Uh, need, need one over here. See, now there's the confusing part where everything is still on fire because of the bug. But I put the fires out. Next to the... Oh, we need to actually build the sister next to the cathedral. Oh, duh. There's already a well here, though. I guess it's not really enough. Shit! Wait, what am I missing? A gold? Why are these idiots building such flammable buildings? Oh, that's not looking good. Okay, actually, no, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Oh, I thought we built a cistern over here. That, I think, is just from enemy attacks. Okay, we're getting a pretty good uh, hydraulic infrastructure. Oh, that is a trebuchet. That is a dead tower. Because towers can die. Oh, my unique note hockey is making genbos, not latus like it used to. Okay. I'm pretty sure we have put out the fires. Well, for now. Actually, let's send these guys across. 
Wait, what? Where? Oh, the cisterns go away after you build them, or after they put the fire out. Repair the cathedral. Let these guys go on to gold, I guess. Oh, they went the town center. Really? I hope those aren't the reinforcements. Okay, I suppose he's over here. Those are just Gaia units. Oh, this guy's on fire. And not the uh, the on fire fire. The, the kind you get from trebuchets. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Oh, wait, I keep on making genbos. I want latest. Ah! I mean, I have a crap ton of resources, and my army's, I think, still pretty nice. Oh, there's another one. Get some monitors, I guess. Get hoardings. The uh, area around the cathedral is especially arable. Oh, feels bad, man. Hidden supplies. Oh, that still makes Genoese crossbowmen. This firebug makes everything so much worse. <laughs> Oh, the chance of fire is super high right now. And the thing is, like, it's something we are forced to constantly spend stone on. Because they cost 200 stone. Those are just cows. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! ...with his enemies and betrayed him. He would lead his knights against the walls of Vienna to make things worse. Otoka also heard rumors that Zeus <gasps> seduced his own wife, Unigunda. God damn it! And everything's on fire! <laughs> uh, the northern part of the city. Phew. 
Phew. Why does putting out the fire sound like lightning? I've only found two of the eight buildings. I mean, it's not, the city isn't that big. Here's one. Oh, wait, they repaired the bridge? You can't do that? God damn it, Zavis of Frankenstein! F sorry, Falkenstein! <laughs> it's also Frankenstein. Dock anymore. An abandoned house? No, a Saracen ambush. Oh, that was all he had to offer. You done goofed, my man. You picked the wrong side. Ooh, that is a sea janitor, and that is a trebuchet. The problem is the chance of fire is still very high. Okay, seriously, there are five more buildings I can destroy in this city. How the hell am I not finding these things? Wait, I built those. <laughs> I mean, honestly, all things considered, we're doing all right. We're doing okay. The uh, fire's about to break out, though. Okay. Oops. Are you really trebbing my villagers? I don't really need tower shields because I'm making mostly just gold units. Maybe use a couple monks to heal me up. Do I have monastery? Yes, I do. Wait, where? I think we... Oh, okay, we put out the fire. I mean, that is a bunch of siege onagers we have defending that area.
Oh, this is one of the buildings! The citizens of Vienna donated their last supplies to Ottoka to defend their city. Oh, well, now I'm veritably swimming in resources. The thing is, like, everyone watching this video has found all of the secret buildings, you know, in like three seconds. Here's another one. Three more. This is the true challenge of the scenario. What if there are supplies inside the cathedral? Maybe I should just delete the cathedral. That day, new banners were visible on the horizon. Rudolf had now mobilized all of his forces to completely destroy a Templar in a last major attack. I mean, you know, the attacks of the enemies are one thing, but finding these goddamn houses is another. Okay, we got that at least. Here's one. Two more. buildings. Oh, that's... I wouldn't even know that that the supply thing is uh, one of them. Send everyone down this way. It seems like a pretty big assault. Wait, what? Can the siege monitor not attack? Well, that was weird.
none of these. His false friends may have betrayed him, but Otto was not yet defeated. Well, we didn't find the last one. Feels Ornlu man. Oh, just I guess wolves, all the wolves. Okay. Wait, this was Vienna's. It had a relic over here. But this was where Purple's army was. Oh, there's four fast fire ships I could find over here. Rudolph's camp over here. I mean, honestly, like, just get a couple trebs and you can take down the bombard towers and then, you know, you're fine. I mean, it's still probably way more effort than it's worth, but... Oh, wait, Rudolph of Habsburg himself! He had another base over here. Looks like Styria was over here. Or Austria was over here. Where is Styria? Oh, this is Styria down here. Oh, wait. Ready. Some villagers. Here it is. Just look at the minimap, Hornlu. It's this other storage thing. God damn it! But yeah, like this is really well fortified. Agreed on an armistice. Otoko had heard that further unrest had broken out in Bohemia and could not fight two battles at the same time. As a condition of the armistice, Rudolf demanded that Otoko kneel before him and recognize him as emperor. Otoko agreed with gritted teeth. Otoko stepped before Rudolf in his most gorgeous robe, but the emperor only wore poor peasant clothes to further humiliate him. When Otoka found out that his wife Unigunda had an affair with the revolt leader Zavis of Falkenstein, he confronted her with the rumors. She just laughed and said that she only accepted Otoka as a man if he stopped kneeling in front of his enemies and instead fought for what was due to him. Damn. Well, that was hectic. Like, in the end, it wasn't all that hard. It was just really hectic. Anyway, that was a new emperor, guys. And the last one will be Battle on the Marchfeld. See you guys then.